guys, how's it going? I currently have broken the game. Literally, I don't know how I did this. Actually, I know how I did this. I took a flight path from here to Eastern Plaguelands right there. Because I wanted to do... I wanted to run Zolmon today because I want to get the mount. And this happened. Where are we going? What? Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> I had to go on, damn it's lagging, I had to go on the freaking website and unstuck my character, unlock my character, whatever they call it, basically unstucking, unsticking it because their glitches broke my game and now I'm lagging like a bitch. But I also got red sickness, so I was gonna show you guys my awesome pally I made. I got all geared up because with if you make a pally and not a mage, you can actually do stuff in this game on your own. So we're gonna like I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I was gonna do Zolman, so I guess I guess we'll be right back. But remember, this game still in beta, but it's gonna be out of beta in February, and I say that as a joke. But the sad thing is, it's not a joke. They're literally going to put this game out of beta in mid-February. Now, let me remind you, beta means the game is almost finished, almost complete. For an example, you can look at Heroes of the Storm, which I still want to be invited to, Blizzard. How about you do that for me, please? But that game is still in beta. And I've seen videos on that. That game looks pretty much done. I don't know why they're in beta still. Well, they are. And this game, this server, is going to go out of beta faster than Heroes of the Storm. This game has been in beta. This server has been in beta since whenever it came out in November. In, in around November. This game has been in beta for like three months. Not even. That's a pretty short beta time. Official release mid February. And if I know someone asks, like, can you transfer your Panda Shank characters? They say you will be able to transfer your Panda Shank characters once it goes into its full release. No more beta. So when people use, oh, it's the beta defense, when somebody complains about the game, like, oh, why aren't, why do none of the quests work in Draenor? Oh, it's beta. No, that's more of like, oh, it's a lazy private server that doesn't know what beta means. Because this game is still alpha. There's, there's been any beta testing. I haven't done any beta testing. They don't... There's supposed to be like a level, max level PvP server that was specifically intended for testing the game. Which they never opened. I've never seen it in my life. But it's going to be out of beta. Full release. So I do warn you, if you are seeing this and haven't seen this video, or if you, and you haven't played the game, be warned. Just because it says it's not in beta anymore, it's still an alpha. Because there's no way that this server is going to be fully up and running full release, full and near completion in mid-February. That means, so I mean, hey, if, you know, mid-February rolls around, a lot, of the, a lot of the quests are working in Draenor, Gorgrond isn't empty, everything works almost to the what how it's supposed to work, then, you know, I'll delete this video forever. But I don't think that's going to happen. Considering the way Pandashan is, and literally the questing zones in Pandaria. I don't know. I haven't been on there in a while, but I'm pretty sure that they don't work still. But hey, they're gonna they're gonna do it, guys. They're gonna do it. Okay, yeah, they're gonna do it. Rock on, dude. Rock on. Okay, so we have finally made it into the into 
Zulman Ghostlands the correct way. Uh, if you're wondering how I did that glitch, how that seemingly happened last time, it's this happens whenever you take a flight path that goes through that portal. So I took a portal, I was over in Shatra, so I took a portal Isle Kadanus, and I took a flight path since I didn't know any flight paths in Ghostlands because I've never been here. It's my first time being here, of course. Uh, I took one right to Lights Hope Chapel. It went through the portal. I got stuck. Like, my character got stuck. I couldn't move when I landed in Lights Hope Chapel, so I logged out, logged back in. Next thing I know, I was on a dragon hawk flying through the, through the ground into oblivion. So I would recommend avoiding taking flight paths from anywhere in here to the current world. Because this is still BC times. But remember, this game is going to be out of beta, so it will be near completion in like two weeks. So it's okay. It's okay. We're going to be running Zulman for the bare amount, of course. Never really liked Zulaman after they fucked it up, man. But whatever, we'll get this mount. We'll remember the good old times when this was a raid and it was a lot more fun and inspiring. Much like Zulgrub. What are you guys doing today? I'm doing swell. I am doing immediately better. This channel is almost to 7k views, I believe. I wish. I wish in an alternate reality that translated to my subscriber count. But hey! can't always get what you want. So we are just going to run Zulaman cuz it's fun. And besides, there's nothing to do at level 100. I need I still need to get more gear so I can get into random dungeon finders and run Skyreach and Blackrock till my eyes fall out. And I have been trying to get to Ashran. They have opened the PVP zone. The only problem is people are retarded and they don't tell me how to actually get there. They tell me to swim. I've actually swam there. Nothing happened. It was an empty place. I should have tried logging out, logging in, but I didn't because I was just too deflated by the fact that it didn't even work. But hey, this is a private server. What do you expect? So we're going to be running. We got 20 minutes to kill these four bosses if you didn't know what the bear, how to get the bear mount or something. I don't know if you're behind on these times, these trying times. Uh, I have a paladin now, Ishii. If you don't know who that is, that is the first villain, no, second villain, that Kiddo fights in Kill Bill. It was the cool one, with, you know, if you ever watch Kill Bill, which I totally recommend you should, it's the freaking badass samurai lady that cuts people's heads off. Yeah. So, I think it was a very fitting name. So we're going to just burst these guys down. Uh, the reason mages are complete crap right now is because this game that's urging, that is emerging into a full release still has not got spell, or still has not gotten spell power correct. So the spell power isn't correctly balanced or something like that. So that's why my mage does shit damage and shit everything else. Because it doesn't work. It's not... The spell power doesn't work correctly. That's why you don't see a lot of casters on this server. Killed kills on Akizon. We don't have to free these guys, right? I don't even know where they are. We have time. We got 34 minutes. Bakazulu. I saved you, man. I saved you, man. Gold coins. I have no time for your gold coins, sir. I have 33 minutes to save everybody by two hitting bosses. Um, in Transmog, I have been running Transmog. I have recorded that I was going to do a big rant, like a big analysis, like a big review of the server because of how farcical the idea of coming into a full release actually is. So I was running Nax and Gang just and ICC. I'd just to get stock footage while I ranted. But I woke up to mo this morning. I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. That's too much work for me. That's too much ranting over a game that's going to be in full release anyway. So all my arguments will be invalid. Of course. I also hate... I got this trinket from Mr. Pin Pinchy Sr. He's 
he's a rare in the grand in Draenor. He's also you also catch like his his relative, Mr. Pinchy, as a pet from Shatra and Burning Crusade. He spawns the on your your attacks have like a chance of spawning these little crab dudes that event like just kill everything. And the problem is they just go attack whatever they want. They don't attack what you're attacking. They attack what they see fit. So like I'll clear out like a big group. And then the last guy, these guys will spawn, and they will just start attacking another group that I didn't want them to attack. So, that's, that's great. Whatever, whatever you gotta do for the eye level, man. Are these guys dead? Medicine man, you're dead. We're gonna go over to Narlak. We're gonna hit him with this. Now, he, I don't know how much damage he would do to me, but we're, so we're just gonna, like, kill him real fast, because... I don't want to get, like, hit with his charge, and that, like, obliterates me. But we didn't even have to worry about that. Apologies to Narlac. I really wanted that for a transmog on my hunter in Pandashan. See, he did hit me with Surge. I didn't know if his second... Because on... Even, like, in Mr. Pandaria, his second Surge would kill you. It would annihilate you. So, I was just kind of worried about that. We're going to kill these guys. Yep. Oh, damn it. You guys, you guys do nothing good. I don't want to go in there because I can avoid these guys. I know I can. No. Thank you. He was going. He was going. So we're going to have a word with the John Ali. John Tali, whatever his name is. John Ali. John Ali. Whatever. Stupid name. The Dragonhawk guy. We're just going to kill him. <laughs> short story short, we're just gonna kill him. So we're gonna just squeeze by these guys, but we didn't. So we're gonna just kill these guys real quick. It's funny, like, because you think you would do shit damage to these guys, like, based on what you do in Draenor, but then you have to remember they're like, gr they're greys too. I wanna actually see if these work, because I wanna get the pet as well while I'm here. We're gonna kill this guy, John Bali. What's up? You're dead. Don't want to hear about it. We're gonna pop Seraphim. That makes me do more damage. See, as you can see, I'm annihilating him now with my Crusader Strike. And we're gonna go with Templar's Verdict. Bam! You're dead, dude. Boom. All your Dragon Hawks, dead. And they also despawned. So they were saved. They were saved. They were spared my um, complete annihilation. We're gonna move on. Go get going. See if we can use the frogs on the forest frogs. Use the hex sticks. They become normal people. Sometimes you get Mojo the frog, who is also a collectible pet. Or you just get random people. There is an achievement, I believe, for unhexing all of them. So I might try to get that. Let's go squeeze by these guys real quick. As you can see, if you are classed in this, any cap is capable of pretty much soloing a lot of stuff you can get this really easily as long as you're not a mage if you're a mage I have bad news for you you're probably not gonna be able to do this hey you're dead and then my little pinchy guys go out and aggro with some more shit that I don't want them to stop it stop please you're dead stop <laughs> stop you loot thank you at least they didn't get that far I don't like I don't like every mount being able to use is ground mounts. I know they changed that in Draenor, but I don't like it because I like having. I feel like now that you know that I have flying and flying mounts that ground mounts become useless. Like oh, I don't have to ride my whatever because I just have a cool flying mount I can show off and ride. So that's kind of just lame. I wish that they didn't do that because of the fact that. It would be so cool just to have all the other stuff. Like, I want to ride my mounts. I mean, I know I have the choice, but I feel like they're just pushing away. Like, oh, now you don't have to worry about ground mounts. Like, if you're kind of just like the showy off person, like, oh, I got the time lost proto Drake. That isn't, that hasn't been cool since La Wrath of the Lich King. Granted that I do still want one, but it's not like it's a big thing anymore. Got some more truck, trusty anti-hexers, man. So we're gonna pop in. Pop execution stance. Seraphim. Seraphim all day. Crusader strike. The execution hammer. 
You're dead. I don't care, man. Boom. Barely made it. We got the achievement. That doesn't so mean we would get the mount. But we'll see about that. So we gotta go find the captor. There's Kasha. See if we can actually let her out. Nope. Nope. Oh, but we can see inside the chest. That wasn't the bear mount. Can this achievement go away, please? Barely made it. Okay, so apparently, let's see. I know she cracks open a couple vases, a couple vases. Maybe. No, because she breaks open that one, doesn't she? And that's where the mount comes from. So, if you're looking to get the Amani Battle Bear mount, then look no further because apparently you can't. Because I'm pretty sure that it was in that one. I don't know if, if it was because, no, because I can't even talk to the people to let them out. So, did that cage work as a cage? No. So, apparently you can't get it. That is my analysis. I probably just don't know how to do it because I've never actually... I did the mount run once in retail and then I lost the roll on it. But I'm pretty sure we just saved. I don't know if he had to save every... We got the achievement! <laughs> we got the achievement. So that's all that matters. Oh, we're actually going to see if the hex sticks work. I don't... Probably don't. Knowing this game, they probably... Oh, they do. Sweet. I want mojo. No, not that mojo. There's mojo. There so we got mojo. Doesn't show him in the pet journal. I don't know why, because I probably don't have the pet battle thing. I didn't learn it yet, so that's why they don't show me my pets. So that's kind of rude. But we did get mojo. That's how you get mojo. He's a little pet if you're, son if you're collecting pets like that. But we're going to move on to the main boss, because we are going to finish this raid for the glory of the guys. For the glory of the gods of Zolvan. Take you. This is so much. I have to tell you. Make. This is so much easier. Like you don't get. You don't get shit on. If I was on my mage. If I was on Tupac. I would be getting eliminated. Left and right. Like I'm just taking these guys out. And good. I have my Mr. Pinchy senior guys. That are going to aggro the boss, but it doesn't matter because in the end, I'm going to aggro the boss anyway. So we're just going to go him, pop execution stance on him, pop seraphim, boom, 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 and dead. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, don't care about that. We're moving on. Get out of my way. Losers. I'll take all you on. Wapow. 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 And then I just wanted to get my holy charges. Get my holy charges ready. Keep them going. Because we're going all the way to Vol'jin, who is already waiting for me. Like the dungeon has been completed in itself. We're going to get these... Round up the last of these scrubs. Bam, they're all dead. They all died. And that's the simplicity of everything. So we're just going to run it. Takada. The invincible. Not so invincible when I'm through with him. He pops Link Stance. Don't care. Because he is going to die. Chaos Orb, I'll take one. So, that was Zolomon. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, this game is going to be out of beta in two weeks or so. So that is something to look forward to. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, do all that YouTube shit that helps me out. You know, you guys know. You guys know the drills of that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.